All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We're back. We're doing it. We're live. It's Friday night, baby. I hope you guys are feeling good. I'm feeling good. Tonight, we are flying out of Kazakhstan and uh, going to La Maz. So, come join me. We are on the big boy tonight, guys. The Boeing 747-8. Um, tonight's flight is actually going to be fairly short. I probably say that all the time, but all these flights feel short to me. However, this one is legitimately short. We're flying a behemoth down south of where we are. 15 minutes, 128 miles, a low altitude flight for an ILS approach. Uh, we are still waiting to get information for what runway. Let's just go ahead and check. This range of this aircraft has 8,000 nautical miles. We are at 10.8 uh, visibility and 2.5 wind. Um... Yeah, it's currently 12 a.m., so actually, happy Saturday. I didn't realize it's already Saturday. Holy crap. All right, well, we're a day late and a dollar short, but we're going to catch up, guys. You know why? Because we keep on going. That's what we do on Liberty Airlines. Welcome aboard 747 Flight uh, 173. We're going to just jump inside. We just taxied out to the runway here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get those flaps up because we got a short runway, um, as you can see. And we need all the speed we can get. Let's go ahead and get these lights turned up. All right, guys, I wanted to thank you guys for flying with Liberty Airlines. As always, uh, your discount codes are in the subscription below. No, I'm just joking. I don't know what I'm saying. Either way, um, basically, we're going to go ahead and just get this party started. Let's see here. Uh, into uh, airport. Okay, well, it's not giving us the information that I want yet. Approach. Uh, maybe when we get in the air, it will give me the rest of the information. But for now, I guess we're going to have to uh, deal with it. Set some of this stuff up. Okay. All right. So that should do for now. We got the landing lights on. Flaps 25. We're going to reduce those as we go up. And uh, let's just see. Make sure I got everything else. On check. Oh. Uh, we only have 50% of fuel, but I'll take a. 10% extra just in case. I think we should be fine tonight. Oh, and Pablo's here. Hola, Pablo. All right, let's see. All right, guys, let's see. All right, so landing lights on, right? These are just my aviation lights in here, and uh, we can go ahead and turn some of these panel lights on. on both sides just give us a little bit more lighting this is a big beautiful aircraft and uh, yeah we're about to do it guys let's uh, get that toned up all right I think we're ready just double checking everything here we go let's power up these four big beautiful engines and get on out of here there we go. All right. Oh. 
sorry guys. Just uh, trying to get my controller to work here. There we go. All right, here we go. We're rolling now. As soon as we get up in the air, uh, I will connect the autopilot. Everything should be set. Let's see what the clearance is. It'll probably get us to about 11,000. All right. We're going now, guys. Walk them aboard. Let's see how this goes. Wow. V1. We're doing it now. Oh. And there it is. Rotate. Woo. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing, guys. All right. Let's just put the gear up. Uh oh. I think I just pressed way too many buttons. Alright. Gear up. Boom. Boom. Okay. Hand off. See. Gear goes up. Oops. Approach on. Oh, we don't need to approach yet. Okay. Let's uh, change the radio frequency down here. All right, non stop, baby. Let's get these flaps reduced as we're climbing. See that? Flaps 20. Flaps 10. Continuing as planned. Let's see what the range is. That's us. Boom. There we are. Are we on course? Most likely. See these uh, bars? Five, one. So as we get to these speeds, we can reduce, reduce. There you go. Up oh, and. There you go. All right. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. So far, so good, guys. These are our waypoints. All right, so we're 99.7 miles out for our next waypoint here. And then we'll be doing our descent. Let's see what the 6,000. Okay, so we're set for 10,000. We're only going to 6,000 here. Let's get that dialed in. All right, for 6,000 indicated here. And our vertical climb will be 1,500. And we'll go ahead and turn these landing lights off. Not necessary. Although, we'll probably need them shortly since we'll be landing shortly. And I'll put these auto brakes on. And that I'm going to leave. All right. So, so far so good. We're flying the big boy, guys. The 747-8 Boeing. I mean, this is the real pilot stuff right here, boys and girls. Look, here's the thing. <laughs> Flaps up, right? Let's just... We have a clean configuration, which means... When you say clean configuration in an aircraft like this, that means your flaps are retracted to zero... Your gear is up. And by the way, okay, on this one, it says up and down, and that's it, right? There's a 
very specific air speeds for landing gear up and down. You have to make sure if uh, you're landing. Well, it depends on like. Well, no, it doesn't depend on what aircraft. Basically, um, if you're flying like another type of aircraft, some of them have down, up, and stop. So you go down for landing gear down, uh, up for landing gear up, obviously. And then uh, once the landing gear's up, the landing gear has um, a hydraulic fluid pumping to keep the gear coming up. So in certain aircrafts, in order to stop the flow of the hydraulics, the pushing the gear up, it has a lever to the center for stop. So that will stop the pump because the gear is up and it will hold it in place without continuous pressure on it. However, sometimes people make mistakes and accidentally put the gear back down. If you do this, you just have to stop, think about what you're doing, and wait because it's airspeed that's very important so on a climb out you're going faster than you normally would and you're putting the gear up but if you accidentally drop it and you're still doing that speed before you put the gear back up you need to reduce the speed and then put the gear back up so you don't have any problems in the integrity of the aircraft um, yeah so that's a little bit of knowledge. Now there's precise, precise details in some of that um, that you can find in other videos on YouTube. Now, I didn't go into great detail, but I'm just giving you basic information. Okay. Uh, also, on here, you'll see um, what they call a Barbara bar as you put the flaps down which is also an indication of giving you down here and up here will give you an indication of how fast you can go what your flaps up or down and uh, you don't want to damage any structural integrity of the aircraft so you have to be aware of that as well we're not going too far tonight guys we're only doing a low altitude flight to uh, La Maz Airport International, and uh, we're not too far away. Um, we're doing a 6,000 uh, low altitude flight, 6,000 feet, I believe we're gonna be at, and uh, we're flying the 747. I don't know how big the airport is where we're going, so we're gonna figure that out when we get there, and uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Um, happy Friday to you, and also Saturday morning, because now apparently it's 12 a.m. I came home a little bit late from work, and then tried to get the my little princess to go to bed, but um, you know, she wanted to stay up and party on a Friday, I guess. I have a little daughter who's going to be turning one this month, so she, I guess, missed me because I was at work all day and uh, did not feel like sleeping tonight, but walking with her being a dad, right? I love her. Anyway, um, let's see here. Nav 22. I know we have, it should tell us... Take off approach. Hmm, where's it gonna say the information for the airport? Good question. Hmm, index? What's this? No? Okay, index. No. Take off. Eh? Uh, hmm. I don't think it's going to tell us. That's all right. Either way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, we're on the 747-8 from uh, Philippine SW uh, Golden. 
uh, International, which is in, um, man, uh, Belize, and we're headed to La Maz. I got to learn all the ways to say this because um, I'm just a dumb American who doesn't know how to pronounce other people's countries. However, I respect you all, so thank you guys for watching. I will try to get better at pronouncing stuff. Looks like uh, on the approach, we got to do flap 25, um, which is this little notch here. These are your flaps right here. This is a big aircraft, so you got flaps 1, 5, 10, 20, 25, and 30. And then these right here are your thrust. These upper levels uh, are all your reverse thrust to stop your aircraft faster. However, I don't know how that's going to work. And we're just going to keep on going. <clears throat> Let's see. We got a lot of switches, buttons, and knobs. Look at this aircraft, man. This is huge. Oops. That's the pilot seat right there. And I gotta say, this is a giant aircraft, beautiful aircraft, but I would definitely be nervous flying it, that's for sure. Everything seems to be going good so far, and uh, yeah, we don't even have any uh, call-outs or anything. These are your localizer and approach. Um, we are doing an ILS approach, so the winds are right here at three on the right side of the nose. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. I told you guys tonight it was gonna be a short flight. Um, I would like to do longer flights, but I am hijacking my brother-in-law's room and trying to be respectful of that and also you know i can't uh, leave the family alone for too long because you know they might not be happy with that but we're here we're flying we're happy to have you guys aboard i hope you guys are enjoying these videos i did make some landing challenge videos that will be coming out also some videos of aircraft landing and taking off um, that are, are on the channel as well and real world aircrafts uh, not flight simulators at uh, West Palm Beach I hope you guys have been enjoying them you know smash that like if you see that video and let me know if you guys are enjoying it we've been on this flight for 20 minutes already um, so we should be landing very shortly here and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it I'm going to try to teach as much as I know. I am a flight enthusiast, not a real world pilot yet, but maybe soon. Uh, maybe sooner than you think. Stay tuned. Smash that like. Hey, subscribe. You know, it will help me help you help me, but mostly help you, hopefully. Um, yeah, we want to get that private pilot's license so that we can make some vlog videos uh doing that as well um just showing the whole processes of processes of that that way if you guys are interested in aviation or flight you'll know where to go what to do and i don't know everything but i will give you all the information i know yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I love a baby. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a long day. And uh, just trying to get through it like everyone else. RNAV 22. Hmm. We're on RNAV 22. That's interesting. All right, so yeah, we're on this big, beautiful aircraft 747. 
We're not even going that fast. We're going 222 miles an hour. I mean, uh, IAS, uh, also Mach point zero. Oh, wait a second. Did I just, whoa, Nelly. Mach point zero zero, which is two four one. Or maybe 250. Uh, I don't know. Woo. Calm down there. Alright, let's speed this bad boy up. I did put flaps up, didn't I? Oh. I wonder what that means. Watching that. Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay, so up two eighty. You want your flaps up by that point. Oh look at this. There's those bars again. Wow, that's interesting. Cool. I think we're going to be... Alright, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to be landing very shortly here, guys. There we go. Our wave point here is in 43 miles. And yeah, we're definitely going to be landing soon. So what I'm going to do is when we get about 20 miles out, I'm gonna start slowing this aircraft because this is a very big aircraft and you wanna slow it um, sooner than later. Sooner! <laughs> Just kidding, sorry. Uh, sooner than later because you don't wanna miss the airport and you wanna be super prepared with a giant aircraft like this. Make sure everything is configured correctly before landing. So we're doing 300 knots. We're going to calm that down very shortly. Look, guys, let me show you something. Here you go. This will tell you, okay? So if you want to do flaps, uh, one, two, um, eight, five. Flaps, two, two, six, five. Flaps, ten, two, four, five. Flaps, twenty, two, three, five. Flaps 25, 2, 1, 0. Flaps 30, 1, 8, 5. Got it? Cool. And this right here will help you too. We're going to slow to... Flaps one. Mm. Mm, maybe flaps two. We're thirty three miles out from here. This is pretty much is going to be our um, everything's going to start happening very soon. So we want to be prepared here. I don't see the airport or anything, frankly, out here. I think we got a, a little bit of a clear sky. It's uh, 52 where we left and 62 where we're going. Head is south. Uh, we've been up here for 26 minutes, so we should be landing shortly. I would love to do a longer stream, unfortunately, we gotta do a little bit short tonight, but there is a landing challenge video, I think, coming out tomorrow. Also, I'm going to be making another one very shortly, so that's good news, I think. Let me see something. Also, I'm going to be making another one. Oh, thank God. Okay. I just checking. 
to make sure that I actually put on the microphone because I have forgotten the past. Well, guys, look, I lost one subscriber, um, probably because the content I was making before was totally different than from, from this, and that's okay. But if you guys are into aviation or flight enthusiasts like myself, consider subscribing. Maybe smash that like button, help me with the algorithm, come join the community, and help me build this channel to where it needs to be. You know, we all have families, and this is our hard time taking our uh, passions and putting it out there for the world to see. I like to share it with you guys, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully, you're getting some useful information out of this. Most of the stuff that I do talk about comes from war real world pilots. I am not one, but I do watch many of them and learn and study aircraft. So I just uh, regurgitate uh, the words that I hear from them. So uh, most of the time it's pretty accurate what I'm telling you guys. However, I'm not a pilot, but soon. All right, up to 8,000. You heard him. A lot of information right there. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Keep speed below 250 knots. Expect our nav runway 22 approach via LM001. Transition clear to LM001, Boeing 747. So we are clear for his transition. They want us to climb to 8,000 feet. We have to be under 250 knots, so I slowed us to 240. I'm going to go ahead and put flaps one and go ahead and get these landing lights turned on and ready to go. All right, here we go. We're climbing. Flaps up, flaps 160. Flaps five. Flaps one, flap five at thirty. All right, there we go. All right, so Elma zero zero one transition clear. Uh, Boeing seven four seven, keep it under two hundred, keep it at eight thousand, approaching seven thousand for eight thousand. And uh, yeah, we got some towns coming into sight over here, so that's a good thing, I think. I don't know why they want us to go up to eight thousand though, but hmm. let's go ahead and slow. Ten. All right, approaching 8,000. They're probably gonna tell us to decrease our altitude for a second here, so we will be doing that very shortly. Let's see, we've been up here for 32 minutes. It's only supposed to be a 15 minute flight, but it tends to happen when you're having too much fun. Very interesting. All right, 
for 8,000. Fool. We're at 20. 5 to 20. Maybe that's the airport. Hmm. Flaps 80, Flaps 25, Flaps 4, Flaps 60. All right, there you go. Just getting everything set up here. We're still on our transitions. There's a runway right there. I don't know if that's gonna be ours up there, guys, but just getting this plane set up. Our flaps are configured at 25, our speed is good, our landing lights are on. And uh, that's our pre-checklist for now. Let's see what we got going on. Here we go, here we go. 4,000. Let's do that. Acknowledge. Descent and maintain four thousand feet Boeing seven four seven. Boeing seven four seven contact La Mesa approach on one one nine or decimal seven. There's the airport right there, guys. All right, so we're dropping out of 8,000 to 4,000, and uh, we're at 160, doing 159, flaps full. That's the runway, we got it in sight. Once we turn on to course here, I'm gonna go ahead and activate uh, localizer approach and drop the gear. Let's see, we got auto on. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get ready for a nice smooth touchdown. You guys ready? Who's ready? I uh, hope that stream is okay. It looks good on my computer, but up here it doesn't. But yeah, you know. All right, almost at 4,000. There's the uh, runway over there, that is it. I don't know how long this runway is, but we're gonna have to be careful with that because we're gonna put max braking on and uh, set auto brakes to four. Max braking auto on, okay. 4,000 coming up, flaps full, probably on. Keep that speed up there. We don't want it to stall. Okay, so this is the range where we want to be. Let's see, we're going down too fast. Like, we don't want to be anywhere under here. We want to be about right in here. Maybe right there. 140 at the least. It is 
this. All right, here we go, guys. Ready? Whew. All right. Landing lights are on. Flap set. Uh, gear's not down. We're going to turn on course. Uh, oh, is that? No, that's not. Okay, so we got these little white dots here and here. We're just waiting for the localizer. See how far out. Okay, 2.7 to this waypoint. Then we should be turning on course to the runway. There it is. Putting the gear down. There's the round view. Gears down, landings configured. Let's see. <clears throat> Captain. Oh, where wait do I? There's gone down. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here we go. We're just gonna um, get that airplane back on course. There's the runway right there.
All right, here we go. Too high. <sighs> wow, that was a. We overshot the runway uh, a little bit, but. go we made it like i said we overshot the runway slightly but we did make it so we're just gonna go ahead and turn right around here let's just go get a little bit of the power in this All right, guys, welcome. We made it to uh, La Maz International Airport, and it's beautiful, clear skies here. I'm very happy with that. Uh, we had a little bit of a landing there, nothing too crazy. However, um, you know, this is a huge aircraft and a very short runway. So, you know, that factors into everything. Um, let's see how much fuel. We still have a 58% fuel on board. Uh, that's a lot of fuel um, for four engines. Uh, we're just taxiing off the runway here. So, yeah, we just landed in La Maz International. Look at that beautiful little city there. Let's go check that out. I'll get you guys off this aircraft very shortly here. So we taxi and let's just jump inside and I know there's a display somewhere here. Well, Is that it? Huh. Ground service, where are you at? All right, let's go ahead and get inside. Here. Just curious to see if we can find No. 
Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, well, well, we, we made, made it. Uh, let's see here. Is that? Maybe that's the airport building. Let's just speed up this taxi process here. Sorry. Takes a while. This is a huge aircraft, very difficult to taxi. So, bear with me. Let's see. What's over here? All right. Well, I just parked it off the side of the runway here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start shutting this puppy down. And uh, let's go ahead and get these engines off. Thank you guys for flying with us uh, Liberty Airlines. Let me open these doors. And, uh, yeah, let's call the ground service. And, uh, yeah. All right, so we made it safely to La Maz. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We flew the 747-8 a Boeing uh, from, uh, what is it? Philo uh, Southwest Golden to La Maz. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next flight. I will see you in the next video. Until then, Dustin Vendiga, God bless, and I'll see you.